We previously said that any object could be an element in a list, so since lists are objects, that must mean that we could have a list as an element of a list. So let's talk about lists of lists. Let's go ahead and create a list of lists. Let's assign to the identifier x list a list, and right now that would just be an empty list, but I'll go back in here, and I'll make the first element a list that just contains the single integer 1. The second element will be a list with two integers, 1 and 2. For the third element, let's go with a list that has the strings a, b, and c. And then for a fourth element, let's make that a list that has the string 1, the integers 2 and 3, and then the string 4. Now when we hit return, that list of lists is assigned to this identifier. Let's just check it out, see what is echoed back to us at the interactive prompt. And there we see the list of lists. Let's use a for loop to display each element of the list. So let's say for inner, we'll call the loop variable inner, in x list, we'll just print inner, this inner list, and there we see the elements of x list. Each element is itself a list with one, two, three, or four elements, and we could actually have lists of lists of lists and so on. We could also use explicit indexing to access an element of x list. For example, the third element of x list can be obtained by saying x list with an offset 2 from the beginning, and there we see the third element of x list. Now, an interesting question is, how do we access an element of one of these inner lists, one of these embedded lists? How do we obtain the second element of the third element of x list? And to do this, we have to provide two indices, one to specify the element of x list, and another to specify the element of that embedded list. So we can write x list with an offset of 2, and that'll give us the third element. And now if we want the second element of that, we just give another integer within brackets to specify the element we want of that. And now we see we get the string b. And we can display it this way. We can access the element this way. We could also use it in an assignment statement. So for example, we could make that element the string BEE -E, with all capital letters. And now if we echo X list back to us, we see that that second element within the third list within X list is changed to capital BEE. -E. Now what if we wanted to display each individual element of the embedded lists? There are a couple approaches we could use. We could say for inner in x list, as we did before to get each element of x list, but now say for item in inner, what we'll do is print item, and just to make this a little bit more compact, let's say end of the print statement is equal to just a blank space instead of the new line character. And then after this inner for loop, we'll call the print function with no argument to generate a new line. Now hitting return twice, we see each one of those individual elements. And let's try to do the same thing, but now using explicit indexing. And let's say for i in the range of the length of x list, and then for j in the range of the length of x list of i. And in this case, let's print i, j, and x list of i. That would pick out one of the embedded lists, and then an offset of j from the beginning of that list and let's just try this, hitting return twice now. We essentially see three columns of data. The first column is the value of i, which specifies the element of x list. Second column is the value of j, which specifies the element within that inner list. And then finally, the third column is the value 
of that particular inner element. Hexlist is currently a list of lists, and every one of its elements is a list. However, as you might guess, each element can be any object, so we can have a list that is a mix of types, which also includes lists. To illustrate this, we can simply assign a non-list object to one of the X list elements. Let's do this. Let's say the second element of X list is equal to the string. This is a string. And X list's fourth element is equal to the float, 43.2. Now if we echo X list back to us, we see this mix of types. The first and third elements of X lists are themselves lists, but the second element is a string, the fourth element is a float. Let's stop there and we'll pick up our discussion of lists of lists in the next video.